Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of the Energy Academy by Moto Energy. Before we dive into the details of how ERCOT operates, it's worth thinking about how it fits into the larger North American electricity system as a whole. Picture the power grid as a vast and intricate web, connecting power plants to homes and businesses via transmission lines. When you turn your lights on, you're tapping into a diverse array of power sources. These range from traditional facilities like coal and natural gas plants to newer forms of technology like wind and solar farms. However, the integration of wind and solar brings both opportunities and challenges. Wind and solar power are intermittent, meaning that they can't be relied upon 24-7. And managing this requires sophisticated systems. Because North America is so vast, the power system is actually made up of a number of smaller regional power markets. These are operated by independent system operators or regional transmission organizations. ISOs tend to cover single states or smaller regions, while RTOs tend to cover larger multi-state or multi-province areas. There are also some regions that aren't covered by ISOs and RTOs, but we don't need to worry about these for now. For almost all regions that are covered by ISOs and RTOs, their market operations are overseen by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC. FERC is an independent agency of the U.S. government whose goal is to oversee the interstate transmission of electricity and natural gas. However, ISOs and RTOs are individually responsible for coordinating and operating the power grids within their respective regions. As of early 2024, there are nine ISOs and RTOs in North America. ERCOT is an ISO, and crucially, it's the only one of the U.S.-based system operators that doesn't fall under FERC jurisdiction. This is because ERCOT has no synchronous AC ties to the eastern and western interconnections. Instead, ERCOT is overseen by the Public Utility Commission of Texas, or the PUCT. The PUCT has final say on changes to ERCOT's rules and protocols. But both ERCOT and the PUCT have to work within the frameworks and boundaries of the Texas State Legislature. In the next episode, we'll talk about ERCOT's goals and responsibilities. I'll see you there.